Hi, I'm Brian Garner. Welcome back to Speedball's how-to series on screen printing. I'm gonna make sure that I do use uh, fabric ink for this because I am printing a t-shirt. And I'm gonna put a bead of fabric ink um, at one side of the screen. And then you're gonna see that I'm gonna take this rubber squeegee and I'm gonna pull it across the screen with about two to three pounds of pressure. And I'm gonna keep that squeegee at a 45 to 60 degree angle. And that's really gonna enable the blade of the squeegee to make proper contact as the ink is pulled across. And of course, the screen filler is not going to allow the ink to pass through the mesh, only where the artwork is quote unquote open. And that's what you use the drawing fluid for. So um, when you're also printing, before I actually do this, um, when you're printing on paper, usually one pass is ample to get your impression on your paper. When you're printing a fabric, it's a little bit more porous. And um, I like to actually go over maybe two or three times per, per image that I'm pulling. And that's gonna make, uh, you know, make sure that I have enough ink that it's gonna bury the color of the t-shirt and the graphic is gonna really be strong. And that's really gonna be a matter of pulling the ink several times um, across that screen. And try not to move your screen either. Uh, a lot of you will kind of uh, have a double impression almost because your screen actually moved while you were printing. So it's, uh, it's really good to uh, keep a firm hold on your screen as you're actually pulling it. Now, um, if you have a buddy, you know, perhaps they can actually put some pressure on the screen and hold it down for you while you can pull it. Um, but uh, with this size screen, it's gonna stay pretty much, uh, pretty much still. So I'm gonna put a little pressure on the screen here and I have my squeegee at roughly a 45 degree angle, and I'm gonna pull it across. Before I actually print on my shirt, I actually just wanna flood the screen with ink, with nothing underneath it. If you're nervous and it's your first time to print, you may wanna print on a piece of newsprint, newspaper, or something a little cheaper to make sure that your image is what it wants to be. And uh, now I'm gonna pull this squeegee over the flood stroke, putting ample pressure on it. I'm gonna take the rest of the ink that's on here and pull that across. So now, with the pressure of the squeegee, I'm pushing that ink through that open mesh, which is my drawn area. And I'm gonna pull that a third time across this T-shirt. And hopefully that's enough ink to have transferred through. And it is, very cool. So, there's the image. We'll continue the process in the next video.